Thank you for attending the product training for the Phrenic Mini version C2. In this presentation, we'll go over the Mini, its benefits, options, features, and also upgrades over the first generation Phrenic Mini. The Mini C2's design philosophy was a compact design meets high performance functionality. Some of that functionality includes suitable for a broad range of applications than previous versions due to enhanced performance. It is compatible with current products in relation to dimensions, wiring, and options. Improved operation and maintenance functions. Energy savings has been increased. RS-45 communications as standard and global compatibility for international use. Some of the features and benefits of the Phrenic Mini C2 is that it's suitable for a broader range of applications due to the drive's improved performance. We have added dynamic torque vector control to the Mini C2. With this feature, you have available to output stable torque even in a low speed level by downloading dynamic torque vector control with magnetic flux assumption repudiated by the multi-series. It is ideal for applications requiring high starting torque, such as heavy inertia and conveyor. Examples can be centrifugal separator and conveyor trucks. And as you can see on the graph on the left, uh, corresponds to slip compensation control in regenerative scythe, and that's showing you the performance through these ranges. The overview of the Phrenic Mini C2 starts with the performance enhancements. We have increased performance and horsepower ratings, which equals a broader range of applications. We feature dynamic torque vector control for tighter control of motor performance. Reduced losses with drive motor tuning, which is built into the drive. Improved diagnostics and maintenance features. And permanent magnet motor control firmware. The typical applications you will find for the Mini C2 are conveyors, fans, pumps, centrifugal separators, food and beverage equipment, permanent magnet synchronous motors, or PMSM, applied to fans and pumps characterized by the drive, motor high efficiency, or to maintain precise motor speed. The Mini C2 is compatible with all current Mini C1 applications and stall spaces. In this slide we'll look at specific comparisons of external dimensions of wiring summary. From the pictures at the top you can see the outward appearance are nearly identical. The external dimensions are the same except for the increased range of the Mini C2. Same with the install dimensions, they are the same except for the increased ratings of the Mini C2. The control terminal blocks features the same ports except for there's a slotted screw on the Mini C2 as opposed to a Phillips screw on the Mini C1. The main circuit terminals are the same. Location terminals are the same. Uh, length of wiring, compatibility, etc. Function codes are nearly identical except for the increased features of the Mini C2. RS-45 communications used to be an option on the Mini C1 but now it's built in on the Mini C2 on as a RJ-45 jack and communication protocols, Modbus, RTU. On this slide, we'll talk about the functionality of the Mini C2. The key features are basic PID functionality, energy savings, programmable non-linear volts per hertz pattern, programmable current limit, a high starting torque of 150% for one minute, torque boost and slip compensation control for better control of your motor, an application, a timer function to start the drive in a relation to operating time, side-by-side -side mounting to decrease your install space, lifetime alarm and maintenance display for DC bus capacitors, PCB capacitors and cooling fans, PC software in the form of Frenic Loader that is freely available on our website for download. RS-45 communications are built in as standard with an RJ-45 port and PMSM or permanent magnet synchronous motor capabilities. Additional functionality with the Mini C2 is increased motor protection in the form of electronic motor thermal data held function. Even when the power is turned off, 
the operating values of the motor's electric thermal data can be saved. The motor will then reoperate with a saved value when power is turned back on. Lower noise. The inverter carry frequency setting range expanded to 16 kHz, allowing for lower motor noise compared with the current Frenic Mini. Global compatibility. We are compliant with overseas standards such as UL, CUL, CE, and ROSE. Additional functionality and features that have been added to the Mini C2 start with the carrier frequency, which is now configurable up to 16 kHz. We have added dynamic torque vector control for speed and torque accuracy. You can now auto tune your motor with the Mini C2. The C1 terminal function can be altered between 4 to 20 milliamp or 0 to 20 milliamp. We have a restriction on the rotation. You can restrict for either forward or reverse. Maintenance functions has been upgraded to the same level as multi. Features number of startups, mock alarms, or more. Added nonlinear volts per pattern number two, whereas nonlinear three steps are possible to adjust your acceleration curve to meet your application needs. You can now set up and program for two different motors, two different applications. PID control, you've added automatic frequency updating function for slow flow rate stop or PID sleep mode and braking function has been added as an output for conveyance type machinery. The Mini C2 is compatible with communications link that the Mini C1 had previously used. The Mini C2 ratings and model number are as follows. Input power supply, single phase 115 volt, single phase 230, three phase 230, and three phase 460. Applicable motor ratings, Full load current rating or amperes type, standard type, EMC bu filter built in type. As far as being able to read the model number, all of our drives feature the FRN designator for the Frenic series. The next group of characters for the Mini C2 is the applicable motor current. The character after that is the C, which designates the Mini compact inverter. The digit after the C is the development series, as currently the Mini is in the second development. The character before the dash is the enclosure type, which this is a standard or S-type IP20. After the dash is the code for input power source. Seen here, this is a three-phase 230 volt, and the last character is U, or region code, for English. The Frenic Mini C2 ratings and model numbers are as follows. We start out with a 115 volt one phase model, which the horsepower ranges range from 1 8th horsepower to 1 horsepower. We next feature a 230 volt single phase unit. The horsepower ranges are 1 8th to 3 horsepower. Next is a 230 volt three phase, which the horsepower rings range from 1 8th to 20 horsepower. And lastly, the 460 volt three phase models range from one half horsepower to 20 horsepower. And as you can see down below on the bottom of the screen, the Mini C2's nameplate is similar to the current generation Mini. Here's the Frenic Mini LED display. It features a simplified maintenance system interface. Some of the features of the keypad are digital display for operation, function codes and fault indication, program and fault reset button, digital frequency adjustment and up down, function code data menu selection in the function data button, manual run stop commands in the run and stop buttons, and the manual frequency adjustment potentiometer. Some of the new maintenance functions are mock alarm. Mock alarms are able to be set up through the drive to test your system. Startup counter for motor, total number of operating on off cycles is trackable. Cumulative motor runtime, available to monitor motor operation time. Alarm history, the past four alarms and their histories can be checked. And cumulative power, it is measurable with the cumulative power setting. 
On this slide, we'll review the ease of switching operation control modes. You can switch between local and remote operating modes for speed reference, and the start-stop commands can be chosen using an external digital input or over RS-45 communication network. On this slide, we'll review the inputs and outputs to the Phrenic Mini. L1, L2, and L3 are your voltage inputs. U, V, and W are your outputs to your motor. We have a 0 to 10 volt input to your 11, 12, and 13. Uh, 13 is actually used for a potentiometer, which is your 10 volt supply. Current input in a 4 to 20 milliamp signal is in put it to 11 and C1. FMA output is an analog output. Digital inputs, we feature forward reverse, which is customizable, and X1 to X3. We also have one form C relay, that's the 30 A, B, and C terminals. And we also feature one digital transistor output. And we have built-in RS-45 connector, as opposed to the Mini C1, which was a, an option card. We also have DC reactor terminals and a dynamic brake terminal. The Frenic Mini inputs and outputs. As you can see from the picture on the right, the control terminals are underneath the front cover and the AC power terminals are available under the wire management device. For the control inputs and outputs, we have five programmable digital inputs, X1, X3, and the forward and reverse terminals are also configurable, up to 20 different types of functions. There are two analog inputs, 0 to 10 and 4 to 20, or 0 to 20 milliamp style. Programmable digital outputs, there are two. One is a form C, normally open, normally closed, relay, rated at 0 0.3 amps at 250 volts AC, and one transistor output, configurable up to 23 different functions. There's one analog output in the 0 to 10 volt DC fashion, configurable up to 10 different functions. And a 24 volt DC output terminal with a 50 milliamp max supply, which can supply voltage to a transducer for a PID loop. More nephrenic minis, inputs and outputs. For the control terminal block, we switch from a Phillips head screw to a slotted screw which we commonly use on the Phrenic series AC drives, which allows for greater torque on the, the connections on the wires. And we also built in an RJ45 connector for communications. The Phrenic Mini C2 speed controls are set by the following. The Mini keypad, analog signal input, which of, there are four, Digital multi-step frequency settings. There are 15 different settings for the multi-step. We also feature the jump frequencies. There are three with a bandwidth setting. Acceleration deceleration pattern, which there are four. A coast to stop on your D-cell. Automatic deceleration control to avoid over voltage on the DC bus. And electronic reversal of motor rotation. A big reason to install a VFD is because of energy savings. Fuji lets you adhere to the optimized energy savings via an overall systems approach. These methods include cooling fan on-off control, PID sleep mode, where the PID loop is still continues to operate but the motor is stopped, and monitoring and controlling total losses of the motor and VFD. One of the protective functions of a Fuji VFD is an adjustable motor thermal overload protection. We have three function codes for this. F10 designates the type of motor that is attached. F11 is the overload detection level set equal to 1.0 to 1.1 times the motor rated FLA on the nameplate. And F12 is the time constant in minutes. This is the time until the drive trips on motor overload protection at 150% of the overload detection level, or F11. Additional features of the Phrenic Mini CTU are data protection, 
which prohibits changing of all function codes. DC injection braking, which sends DC voltage to the motor coils to stop a motor that might be spinning. Current limit, overload early warning, which is outputable out of the drive. Data initialization, which allows you to set the drive back to factory defaults. PTC thermistor input for motor protection. Low limiter mode, stop key priority, which allows you to shut the stop button off on the keypad, or start check function, which allows you to restart a drive when power has been lost or power has been turned on with a run command from a terminal present, and clear alarm data, clear all pass alarms. Additional features of the Frenic Mini C2 are auto tuning for watts loss reduction, minimum control for three phase induction motors, to run your motors as efficiently as possible. We also have permanent magnet synchronous motor control firmware built in as standard. And permanent magnet motors are high efficiency motors and is controllable with a Mini C2. Additional physical features of the Mini C2 we have added a screw to secure the terminal cover to limit access to live parts of the circuit. This is due to the modification of the EN standard. An option on the Frenic Mini's network communications or maintenance diagnostics with a keypad, model number TP-E1U, which is available with the USB port built in. With this option, you do not need an RS-232 or RS-45 adapter. With this option, you can connect your PC through the keypad to the drive, check function codes, operate it, and check maintenance diagnostics. Enhance Frenic Mini Communication Connect AP with PC Loader Software, which is freely downloadable on our website. Additional network communication properties. The Frenic Mini utilizes standard RS-45 communications. Some of the communication functionality we feature are RJ-45 connector built in, which helps with one-touch connection. Multi-drop connection is available even with the available standard RG45 divergence adapter. With this type of communication network, you can download a Frenic Mini function codes, control speed and start and stop, and monitor operation and indication of faults via communication link. Other available options our model TP-E1, which is a remote keypad without USB. It looks identical to the mini keypad. TP-E1U, which is a remote keypad with USB port, same as which is used on Frenic Mega. Frenic Loader 3.3, it's a PC loader program. Uh, upgrade from Frenic Loader 3.2, which is freely downloadable from our website. RMA-C1. DIN rail mounting base up to 5 horsepower, same as the first generation Mini, and a NEMA 1-C2, which is a NEMA 1 kit with extended faceplate cover, and you can see uh, representations of some of those devices down below. We also feature dynamic braking resistors. Frenic Mini also has capability of our PC software called Frenic Loader. It is free and downloadable from our website at www.americas.fujielectric.com. Using Frenic Load software, you can change parameters, operate and test the drive, monitor functionality, trace functionality, document setup and operation, and much more. Thank you for attending the Frenic Mini C2 presentation. The Frenic Mini goes all the way up to 20 horsepower, is an ideal solution for your general purpose needs.